Okay, I'm talking to Bonita Morgan from the uh, Caribbean Tourist Office. I'm talking to, on the left hand side, I'm talking to Alston McPhee from uh, the Bahamas. And in the middle, I'm talking to Gloria Demise, or Demise, uh, from uh, the Association of Caribbean States. So tell me, what do you think of, the, of this programme here, this last couple of days? It's been pretty intensive. Um, do you think it's been successful? And what are you going to take away with you? Well, Who's going to start first? Well, I can, I can start. I think, uh, firstly, just having all uh, the international partners, donors, and uh, representative for the, of the various agencies with, in the Caribbean region here is a, a real achievement in, in itself. And to discuss some of the issues relevant to climate change and addressing those issues, it's a major, major, major task that has been achieved here in the last two days. Elsa, you've been involved in the last climate change conference here, which I saw you at, Tourism and Climate Change. And this has gone up in leaps and bounds, hasn't it, from there? It has, because uh, it is a result of, uh, after the Carib Save, uh, partners have been to two of the islands within the Caribbean region, have talked to a number of persons in, uh, within CTO as well as ACS. Uh, and this is really an achievement in that uh, some of the actions that is uh, necessary to move the Caribbean region forward in terms of addressing the issues of climate change are, has been achieved uh, within the last couple of days. Well, that's great. Now, Benita, you're right on the ground, aren't you, in the Caribbean now with the Caribbean Tourist Office? Yes. Um, from your point of view, it's really important. How do you feel about it now? Okay, well, I think also we had, in addition to the donors, we had the scientists with us as well. And they provided some really critical data letting us look at sea level rises, you know, um, rising in temperatures, uh, looking at the business of the biodiversity, coral reefs, and all of those different things that are of concern to us. So I think they brought the technical information to the fore and let us see what some of their data gathering has produced. And uh, it's based on that evidence that we will be able to have the mandate to go out and act and take action in certain areas because we have the evidence to prove that if we, if we don't do these things now, these are the impacts we are likely to face and this is the likely impacts on the tourism sector. So I think that component of it, together with talking with the donors and coming up with the action plans, all fit very nicely together under this symposium. Bonita, thank you. It's a question of going back and making it happen, isn't it? That's, that's the thing now. It's action going forward. Gloria, finally, the Association of Caribbean States. Tell me, what have you taken from uh, this couple of days? I think what we all have taken from um, this experience, this couple of days, is that we're talking first of all about the Greater Caribbean, uh, issue that would impact one of the most important sectors in the Greater Caribbean. So taking with us, taking into account the English, Spanish, French and Dutch speaking Caribbean. Um, furthermore, it has been a very interactive um, participatory experience where scientists, government officials, regional agencies and donors have been involved in drawing up, formulating action plans and action plans short term, medium term and long term. So um, looking at this activity from the perspective of the Greater Caribbean, looking at it from the perspective of policy, I think we could start changing the climate that we have been working in over the last couple of years. And that is focusing on an issue that will seriously impact the livelihoods of our communities, the economic situation um, within our region, as well as the environment. Thank you very much. So it's next stop, Alston, Bahamas. Next stop, Bahamas. Next stop, Nassau. Nassau is the next stop in September, and we look forward to all of the partners within the Greater Caribbean coming. Um, being informed of what Carib Save is planning 
and how important it is for the sustainability of tourism in the Greater Caribbean and what role they, they, they will have to play in, in the work that CaribSave is, is planning and uh, that is a critical next step. Thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm.